All right, guys, here we go. In this video, I'm going to show you a good little trick of how to control a thousand ounces of silver for a little over $2,000. Okay, you can't buy a physical for that. Yeah, everybody ought to own a little physical silver. We think the percentage run in 2023 is going to far out, out uh, exceed that of gold. Also, copper, you might want to put that, you know, a note on that. We'll cover that here in a little bit. But first of all, we want to, you know, show you the micro uh, silver futures and how we got started here. First of all, we have these uh, uptrend line, three hits. Normally on the third hit, you'll bounce. And then we were in this inside bar. See that gold arrow? Well, we were inside bar, meaning everything was closing inside uh, that red bar. And normally on the fifth candle, hint, hint, when you're consolidating, normally they'll bust it out on the fifth candle and see one, two, three, four, five, here we go. Broke the top of that inside bar pattern. And then here we go. And then we had a two down, one up. So we scaled in again. Now these are scale in, so we don't go 100% in uh, at the bottom. We don't go 100% out at the top. We scale in, scale out, just like the institutions of smart money does. So anyway, here we are. Now, it looked like uh, we broke this up trend line and we're trading under it. And then again, this inside bar uh, pattern, this green bar right here. And then on the breakout counter where the blue arrow is, let me get that out of the way. Right here, we closed uh, over the 20 and took out that uh, previous green bar. And then here we go. So we're up obviously a little bit on that. And let me go to my personal account here. But as you can see, uh, the regular uh, futures uh, right here, the, uh, the SI, uh, you got to get in. Well, you don't have to get in, but it's the $10,285 10, uh, to get in the game. And then with the micro futures, if you can see this, a thousand ounces of silver is what you can throw for just over two grand. Okay. You can't, you can't beat that. And then you're at the control. All they have to do is go over here. Let me get that back up here. And, you know, you buy over here, uh, you know, at market. Then you want to go short. You sell uh, right here at market. So that's kind of what we're looking at. And uh, so that's uh, the silver real quick. And then let's look at gold. Right now, they don't always move together, okay, uh, under you know, as opposed to some people's uh, uh, opinion. But anyway, again, uh, we're looking at the hourly chart. There's a trend line. We broke out according to technical, classical, uh, technical analysis. Uh, you'll break a trend line, come back, retest it, and then carry on. And then we came back and we broke it again. But this time we've been under it. And the first thing we do uh, in this situation is put our stop loss up. Okay. Uh, on the beginning of any trade, it's that little uh, white dash line there. So if our, everything again is inside bar. Okay. We haven't had a breakout on the, obviously on the fifth candle. This is an hourly chart. But if we break down under that green candle, sell this inside bar, you can wick over it, wick under it, doesn't matter. As long as the candle closes inside there, it's called inside bar. Man, and you guys need to learn this. That's, man, so much easy money here. And you just wait for it to break one way or the other. We're short now. Yeah, a couple of bucks. Uh, but if it breaks down, we'll add to that. We just wanted to get, you know, uh, in the game real quick. And then let's go to copper. Okay. Here we are on carpet, car, carpet, <laughs> copper. Anyway, short on that puppy as well. And why were we short? Well, if you want to have, um, you know, uh, well, first of all, you want to have factors. If you have two or more factors, number three or two or more factors, uh, you know, reasons for going long or short, that increases your odds by 83 to 87%. Yeah. Okay. And what were the factors here? Well, we were on a tight, uh, time count. Our Patreon members know all about that. And then we were coming up hitting that point, uh, 786 fib line which is real strong resistance at the top, even though your 0.618 is your golden retracement. And then coming down uh, that point, um, uh, 786 fib line is support. Matter of fact, during the, if you guys uh, are, you know, mess with crypto any, 
uh, just kind of backstory during the 2018 uh, slam down as Bitcoin was coming down on the daily chart, we would just pop our fib lines and basically that 0.786 was an ATM. Every time it hit, we hit it or it came close and closed over, we got in for a little run up. But anyway, but in this uh, trading game, first thing you want to do is have your insurance. That is your stop loss, okay? Because uh, your first loss is always your smallest loss. Before you even get in there, like you saw on my gold chart, or, you know, that's the first thing I do is put my stop loss in there. Also, if you can't name it or identify it, uh, you shouldn't be in it. That's part of the reason uh, for people losing money in the market is they, they buy or sell on a feeling, on a hunch, uh, on the stars, alignment, whatever, you know. And just like a, you know, heart surgeon going in, is he going to be clipping and snipping on stuff he can't identify or he doesn't, you know, can't name it? Doesn't know what it is. I don't think so. And same with this, okay? This is going to be as deadly too with your bank account, uh, with trading account. If you come in there, well, that just feels good. That's a big candle. I heard some stuff on Reddit, saw some stuff on uh, Twitter. I think I'll get in. Yeah, you'll be one of the people that are taking money away from. So anyway, uh, that's just some quick uh, updates here. Uh, give us a follow on Twitter. Check out our Patreon site, and we will see you on the charts.